With the flick of the finger, the sweep of the arm, the sway of the body, the bend of the knee, the lifting of the foot, the flight of eagles, the roll of the waves, the rocking of trees are mimicked and something beautiful is conjured, as if recreating the world with motion and rhythm. Manifesting in movements, the dancer also becomes one with nature and comes closer to the divine. For diverse reasons and occasions, and with many variations, the Sama people of Tawi Tawi and the Maritime Southeast Asia perform their traditional dance, the Igal. It is shared heritage among the Sama and other peoples in the western Mindanao area. It is called Pangalai in Taosug and Pamansak in Yakan. All the names simply mean dance. According to Master Igal dancer, Sakinor Ain de la Sas, Igal is a dance of instinct. There are no studied movements, no repetition of gestures, no anticipation. It begins, it ends. The dance itself is an expression of spontaneity, like the surge of the waves, the flight of birds, the caress of the winds. It is a dance of the moment for the moment. At the southernmost part of the Philippines, Tawi Tawi emerges like a string of broken and rough gems strewn over the vast aquamarine sea. This province, the surrounding areas and the nurturing sea, traversing geopolitical boundaries, comprise the traditional home range of the Sama people. This is the southernmost province or island of the Philippines. Next to Sulu, ito na po yung Tawi Tawi. And this is border to Malaysia and Indonesia. Tawi Tawi in the entire Philippines this is the only province that is predominantly Sama. But uh, we have Taosug people here. If you have noticed, if you can roam around the, the province, we have harmonious relationship between the Muslim and the Christian. Our old people tell us that our ancestors were seafaring people and they moved in a fleet of boats. We are indeed dispersed people and yet the sea unify us. Anthropologists by convenience classify the Sama by their toponyms, no? the places or the islands where they come from. Like for me, I come from Laminusa Island in Siasi, in Sulu. I am a Sama Laminusa. We are identified by the island where we come from. Another way of classifying us is by our habitat. So the Sama are generally classified into four. There are the Sama Talun from the hinterlands, the uplands, sa mga mawood at mga talun, mga wilderness. No? The Sama Dileya are the Sama of the plains. They are agricultural, they can be agricultural, and they tend to occupy the arable lands that are not in the steeps or in the mountains, but in the plains. No? the Sama Dileya. And then the Sama Bihing are the coastal Sama who occupy the coral reefs and the Sama Dilaut who are the sea-based uh, Sama. Uh, currently, our Sama Dilaut is the only remaining sea-inhabiting indigenous uh, people in Southeast Asia. No? I am Adjasakinor Ayan de Lasas. I was born in Tampakan, Simunul, but I live 75% of my life here in Bungao and presently residing here in Bungao. First of all, yeah, Igal to Sabambaniya Muslim dance, it is not a Muslim dance. It is an ethnic, traditional, tribal dance of the Sama. Na bang, bang Sama, bang Sama, Igal. Bang Tausug, Pangalai. It's a dance. Although, yeah, differences. The Sama of Tabawan, the Sama of Simunul, the Sama of, of Sapa-Sapa, of Sibutu, 
niya slight differences ma movements. But anyway, it is igal. Ya basic ma igal to is kamanisan igal song paalis to ya instruments music song pa smooth movements ng kamay. Compared no mga modern dances no, modern dances you go with the music. Sa yas ya igal you, you could say against the music because the fastest is the music. The slower is the movement. And mahan niya ay choreograph. It's not a choreograph movements. So no no repeated style. It is parang random, at random siya. It comes out from your heart, from your mind. Min jalom. First of all, pasorun ni jombaran no, and then paluas no ya matangan no in your hands. The art forms were all originated as a form of performative uh, re devotion. No? So we perform, uh, religion was performative. And then when we want to express that ecstasy with a divine manifestation, we move our bodies, so we dance. This has been there even at the time of our ancestors, and they were forms of devotive uh, performances. They were meant to be uh, a human practice of integration with nature. This is an old thinking. We believe in Tawhid. Tawhid is the belief in the unity in multiplicity of divine manifestation. So in all his multiple manifestations, there is unified. It bespeaks of his oneness. When, for example, in the dance form of Eagle, the dance is not choreographed movement. The dance comes out spontaneously as the dancer is initiated by the music or the rhythm that she or he hears. In fact, an Eagle can be danced even without music. Even just the sound of nature can already induce a person to go into an eagle trance-like dance. A Taosug Kisa, a traditional narrative song or chanted story, tells about a legendary maiden, Napsa Lagayan, famed for her beauty and eagle. Her story is widely retold by the Sama. The story is very popular. The first woman dancer yag bay takonan ko is Napsalagayan. Napsalagayan was abducted by the Sultan of Sulu. Accordingly, the Sultan came to Tawi-Tawi. So during visit of the Sultan, yamundo siya to maglami-lami, magpaanda na, mag magcelebrate. Napsalagayan was a good dancer. So, Leia ni invite, Leia nga ni Luma. And then, first, mabilahi because bekawin bahao. Bekawin bahao, and then halan na Leia ni Malaysia mag-usaha, mag-iluun. So, siyempre, ang bata ko ng Leia Lana, maya bilahi. Na, siyempre, king, good sultan. So, force ya, force. And then, Leia nangigal. Pag igar na, Movements lang di pa siya tapos. Brought to holo. Ducted to holo. I think that was the beginning of the story. And, and I think, yeah, why Eagle is almost the same with other Asian countries like Malaysia, like China. Because during those days, 
the Sultanate of Sulu and China have already trade. So parang trade siya. So siguro because of the relationship, kaya almost the same movements with Indonesia, with Thai. So ganun. But siyempre, we have our own specific movements naman. Meron kami iba-ibang klaseng sayaw. Pero yan, igal din lahat. Pag sa tabawan, majata tangan si Gia si Gia. Pero pag ma, makamovement na pag, pag magsayo sila, magganyan sila. Pag sa Simunul, magganyan lang. Ako siguro dalawang dalawang municipalities ang makuha ko, Bannaran at saka si Buto. Kaya halo-halo ang sayaw ko. <laughs> Makukuha ko lahat. Yung pagtaas ng kamay, pwede ako magganyan sa baba, makukuha ko. Pero bang bang ni bang ni base ako from Bannaran Toongan. Kasi uh, sa dugot laman ng mga magulang ko from Bannaran. Pero tumanda lang ako sa Sibutu. Kaya known ako taga Sibutu. Walang pagkakaiba ng sayaw, meron lang konting na variation sa kamay at sa kapaa. Although imitations, there are basic steps na, na dapat din niya sa Benibea. For example, makomanjariya movements, webida movements. Mostly, no, for example, in, in Simunul, to the people of Simunul, Igar Simunul, slide. You just want to feel the floor with your feet. For the people of Tawawan, meron sila term for the steps. And for the badjaw, taas lang ang movement sila sa kamay and then not mababor ang feet. You know why? Kasi usually, they dance on the boat. When they have weddings or celebration, they would do it on their bangka, on their lepa. So their feet is steady. They cannot just move around kasi limited ang space. At the same time, nagbabalance on the boat. In the Magsalba, the human medium allows the jinn to enter him the, uh, so that they can, both of them, can achieve a certain ecstatic state and be able to exact that uh, oneness or yung mga achieve niya yung divine realm. So sumasayaw siya. He dances until he tires himself up. And, uh, and in the process of dancing, nakaka-achieve siya ng alpha state, no? nagta-trans siya. So pumapasok na ngayon yung jin sa kanya. So, ano yun? Igal yun. Igal jin ang tawag doon, salva. Lingisan is just a variation of the igal. It's uh, a dance imitating the flight of bird, usually the fish eating eagle. During this hour, especially during come season like this. That's the time where we used to observe the flight of Alingisan. So you can see how it fly, how it flew, and then the movements, how it sweep and cuts the fish. And a little innovation on the movements, but the basic is the flight and how it catches the fish and then fly away upon getting one. I think even the waves, 
the wind, the waves, the nature. Because we have also variations for male, like the, the wild boar, like, uh, especially yung the cut, catching of catfish, tauti, fishing, the magambit, which is a, a group fishing using sound to drive the fish to the shore. So that's where you see the courtship dance. It goes with the music, pak, pak, and then the male is trying to, to court the female, but the female doesn't, don't entertain, don't want to entertain the male, would kick the male. Later on, because of the insistence of the male, later on they would, may nil na yung babae, okay na. So, doing na some movements. Ang beauty ng eagle is when how the artist can combine uh, movement and non-movement. The duality of that opposition. If the woman is stationary, it's the time for the man to move around her. If the man is stationary, the woman would also move. So, hondong makahibal na. But there is unity in that the connection does not cut. There should always be a connected gaze. If you are in the no movement position, you should always connect with the one moving through the gaze. So you look at the one moving. That's the unity in the multiplicity of eagle. So this is a Tawhid principle in the dance itself. Traditionally, a good dancer, the rear eagle dancer, will never start the movements for as long as the music is not uh, good to the, to the ears. It is also, in the music, the dancer would get inspiration. Because sometimes without the music, if you're not a, a good uh, imaginative dancer, it will affect the movements. Now, for the sets of instruments, the basic one is the kulintangan with eight uh, pieces, from the small one to the bigger one. And to accompany the kulintangan, at least one agong. But usually we have three different sizes. We have at least two for one tambul drum. It's both sides. We played it like that. That's the, the traditional one. But if we have no available anymore, it's that one, one piece. One piece of kulintangan, one piece of agong, and one piece of tambour can already play a good sound. So this is the formal attire. You call this getawi, very young pitted, and then oh, it should always be worn with a loose pants, the sawal. You wear this always with a habur tiyahian or kindang. Habur tiyahian, tausug, kindang, sinama, and like this. Now when it's just, we just walk or attend any occasion, you just do it like that. Wear it like this. Or you can just have this. Like that. And then with your women accessories. But when we dance, we usually do it this way, as I've said, 
to cover the frontal areas of the woman. We also have loose blouse. Can be worn with a, with a loose pants. It can also be worn with a kindang. It can be like kindang like this or just uh, any cloth that is loose. So the, the supply can be formal and casual. For the bajau variations, actually the bajau has only three colors. The white, the yellow, and the green. And then they wore a headdress. During those days, the headdress was just an ordinary patadjo, an ordinary cloth. They just wore it like that, purposely to cover them from the heat because they live the sea. Castanets. That is another variation of igal. So you use castanets, it's either bamboo or shell. The sound of the castanet should also accompany the instruments, should go with the instruments. It cannot also be contradicting. When we dance the eagle, we use the janggai. The janggai, this is to lengthen the nares and to give art to the movements. It adds art to the movements. Because you see, this short hands, fingers, is very already very old, uh, wrinkled. So it's not, it's not anymore good to see. But when I place the janggai, hindi nyo nalata. It adds gracefulness to the hands. This actually too much movement is taboo for the women. Hip movements, hindi rin pwede, hindi tabu rin yung. There is no stopping of hands, hindi yung nag-stop like yan. Continuous. Always moving, moving. Important makami sama pang magigal, kasi ito lang ya culture kami dapat hindi mahalu ang ng mga modern. Dapat ikon namin ipinahalagahan namin, kasi pag mahalu ang ito ng kwan, mawawala ang unang kultura ng mga ninuno namin. Kaya dapat meron talaga na hindi mahalu ang ng modernong sayaw. Dapat pini preserve ang authenticity ng igal sa amin. The traditional igal has been an important element of cultural identity for the Sama people and has inspired modern creative undertakings. In Simonol, locals created a festival dance based on the igal. Mapag igal, mbanya sa na kami mon korek. Ang malit lang yasa lang mapag igal bang pasengkangko, bang jantang posturenu, 
kami mag-iigal, kami mamanis baran kami. Kami nganda. Kaya mba ko jari nganda ni audience, ni anda eknu, kaya nga ni pasod eknu ni jalom, ni anda eknu tangan nu, bang manis ba iya usik, bang di patadyosong pingga iya. Yun, mba niya mistik na, pingga-pingga ka usik, basta siya korek eknu mag-move. Kasi bang ko mag-move, mag-duwa tinaan, mag-kimbot iya, dapat igal, hompot, mba iya mag-kimbot-kimbot. Kasi bati ako dayang-dayang bang kong igal, Smut maya ko mabaliw, maya ko ma music. Pasod e no ni baranu ni anda e no tangan nu bang manis ka atawa iyan. Delasa says it is difficult really to qualify the shining movement in igal or any artistic, creative expression for that matter. It is always a distinct, unique experience as you begin to let go. Set free yourself and let the fire of imagination take command of the instance. <laughs> 